hi everyone i am back with another video i just wanted to come and give you a quick update like i said i would do last weekend um it is now the end of the following week after that i said i would do an, an update but this week was kind of hectic and busy it was straightforward and jumped right in so let me just give you an update from last semester last semester i was in med surge two um and that was the one that had gastro uh, oncology, urology, all of that mixed into one. Obviously I passed. I am now in cardiology. And when I say this sem this semester is already like full steam ahead, um, we got our syllabus or whatever we could see on our canvas before class started. And we saw that we had a project due Thursday, um, Saunders due Thursday, um, you have ATI that's due at the end of the semester, but you want to get ahead on that. Um, so there was no time to really relax. You had to go straight in. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. I passed all my exams. I actually passed that last semester with an A, thank God, because my, so my personal goal is to always make dean lists. And at my, in my school, in order to make dean lists is to make all A's for that semester. So... Anyway, that's my personal uh, goal. So, we also had nine cards. And when I say nine cards for this new semester, we had nine medication cards due by Thursday. So, with all of that being due at one time, you really had no time to really do anything during the week. You were either working on Saunders, working on ATI, working on the project, or working on your drug cards. So, I'm going to go over the drug cards, and this is my drug cards. Um, just, I need, I like the ones with the keychain. I made, you know, I like to make them in order. And so what I think I'm going to do is actually make a big deck of these for all of the classes and remember the key ones that stuck out to me and what you see mostly in the ATI and Saunders books. Um, what I did find out is that on the NCLEX, um, our professors are saying that a lot when it comes to cardiology there's a lot of questions on there that would be about heart failure so I'm gonna go and study a lot of you guys want to know how I study and again I will give you those give me a second let me get acclimated to this class because it's a little fast paced this one's a little bit more fast paced and I will say the book that's important for this semester let me just grab it is the pink book which is um, the medical the med surge adult book this has good information in it and of course my handy daddy dandy book i always will use this because it backs it up also for cardiology what's important is also to know the blood flow and i have just a quick cute picture that was given to us the other day which is very helpful sorry for my glare um you always want to know how the blood flows where the, where it's deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood um because you got medications that like beta 1 and beta 2 that deal with the lung and then deal with the heart. These are things that you, you kind of want to know. Um, this is at least what will be on our test on Tuesday. Um, we've been going over cardiac output and uh, coronary artery disease, artery disease. Um, we're just going over it all. So this is a very busy, busy, busy semester, but I'm on it. Like after this, I'm going to be studying. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know I passed my last semester. I'm now in cardiology. Pray for me. Hope that I passed this one. Um, yeah, if you have any questions down below, please let me know. If I didn't go over something that you need to know, please ask down below and I will give you the answer. This is your girl, Candy Glam. I'm back with this video, now leaving you. And we'll be back, uh, I guess, whenever I have another update or something new to tell you. Yeah, this is your girl, Candy Glam, and have a good day.